Welcome back to Good Knit Kisses. I'm your host, Kristen, and today we are talking about the herringbone stitch. This is a flat herringbone stitch. It's very flat on the front and has a very big bumpy back, which is actually kind of a cool stitch, and you can use that for any number of things. So um, it produces a little bit thicker of yarn, so you want to use a, um, a bigger needle than what's called for in your ball band. Um, this yarn is from Bernat. It's Bernat Softy Chunky. It calls for an 8 needle, and this one is a 15. Uh, I have a loom back here showing you that I've actually translated it to the loom, so we'll have a video on that so you can do both. And um, you will, um, you're also able to use this in the round, but you need to use the uh, instructions that are on the loom because they translate in the round on needles. So let's get started. Uh, I'm going to continue this row uh, as is. Um, when you can cast on as many stitches as you want. And um, when you have the working yarn at the right here, you flip your needle over, then you can get started with the rows that I'm going to show you. All right, let's get started. Get started. I've zoomed out a little bit for my needles. And again, I'm using the Burnett Softy Chunky. Uh, this one is um, on the ball band. It says to use a um, eight millimeter uh, needle, uh, which is this is actually U.S. size 11, um, but I'm going bigger, um, and this is a 15. Okay, so um, sorry, I, I said that wrong earlier. So this is a, an 11 going up to a 15. Um, so. Anyway, you just want to use a bigger needle when you use this stitch. Um, of course, this is a bulky number five. Okay, again, uh, use any multiple of stitches that you want uh, to use for your pattern. It doesn't matter. Um, this one has uh, 16 stitches on it, I believe. And I've done several rows here. And we are going to um, knit these first two together. But what we first need to cover is knit through the back loop and this is um, knitting you, instead of knitting through the front of the loop like this you're going to knit through the back and then grab your yarn and pull it through but we're actually going to do two together okay grab our yarn and wrap it over okay now oops let me get in the view we're going to pull that through Okay, now you're going to let this first stitch slide off and leave the second stitch still on there. Go ahead and stick your needle back through one and then two. So you got two on here that you're knitting through again. Yarn over and pull through. Go ahead and let the first stitch fall over. All right, so you've done two stitches. Keep going. We're knitting two together in the back loop right here. Pull it through. Again, just drop that first one. Get it back on here. Make sure you get it all the way over the tip so you um, keep your gauge going. Um, again, pull through the back loop like this. So I'm just doing this so you can see it. You know, wrap the yarn over. Knit it. Golly. Sorry, I'm by my tripod. Drop this off, and you can see how the stitch starts slanting this way. Go ahead and pull through the back. Again, do knit two together. Let the first one drop. Okay, and you're just going to continue in this row the same way, always dropping that first stitch off. Now, if you accidentally uh, drop this other one, just stop and, and pick it up. You'll see two. If I accidentally dropped this one, you'd see two stitches together instead of just the one. So just pick that right back up. Okay. All right. So keep knitting through the back loop. Drop that stitch and continue on until you reach the end of your stitches. So I've come to the end of my row. I've got two stitches left on here. Go ahead and do what we've just been doing, knitting through the back loop. You're going to knit through both of them. Okay, still pull that first one off. And then go ahead and knit regularly on that last stitch. 
Okay, now you've completed that row. We're gonna flip our work over and you're gonna see this funky ridge back here. All right, now we're going to purl, so make sure that your working yarn is in the front. And we're gonna do the same thing, but just purling. So we're going to purl two together. This yarn really needs to be worked on uh, metal needles. Okay, slip that first stitch over, and then we're going to knit, uh, I'm sorry, we're gonna purl these two together. Remember, when purling, your working yarn is, just stays right up in the front when you're doing the whole row. So don't try and put it in the back if you're newer to this. Slip that first stitch over. Go ahead and purl these two together. There we go. There we go. Slipping that off. So see, now you can see that slanting to the left here. So it slants to the left on every side, but as you're flipping it over, that's how you get the right and left uh, slants going on. Okay, oops. So that first one's easier. The second one, if you've got it on tight like I have, it takes a bit of working. Okay, so now we're going to knit that together and drop it off. I'm sorry, purling it together. I don't know why I keep saying that to you. That's okay. I'm being real with you. Okay, now purl that stitch. Here we go. And dropping that first one off. And you're doing great. Just keep going. Um, if I'm going too fast, I'm sorry. Um, I'll have another video available for you for knit through the back loop. Um, and then a, a purl two together and that kind of thing to help. Um, personally, I think I'm going really slow, but I understand if you're a beginner, uh, this might be too much. So go at your own pace. Oops. Um, but like I said, I have, um, I have metal needles that um, when I was doing this earlier, it actually went really, really well. I was trying to get the bamboo on here uh, to show because I've used them before. Anyway, so you can see that uh, this stitch is slanting to the left here, okay? And then um, when we flip it over, it's going the opposite way. All right, so continue on to the end of the row, and when you get there, we'll meet back up, and I'll show you what to do. Thank you. See you in a minute. Pause video. Okay, we're at the end, and we're going to um, purl these two together, these last two. Okay, drop the stitch off. Okay, and then go ahead and purl it, just that very last stitch all by itself one more time. All right, you've completed that row. Go ahead and flip it on over. And that is the second row of your repeat. So you uh, knit one row and uh, like we discussed, and then you come back and you knit another row and you have to do both of those in order to get um, one full repeat uh, to make your herringbone in order for it to go back and forth. So um, I hope that you've enjoyed this today. Just remember that you need to use a bigger size needle than what your ball band calls for. It's not a reversible fabric, but it does have a really cool edging and it's uh, kind of thick. So um, I hope that has helped you today. I enjoy it, use it on your projects. I think make a nice cool scarf, um, thick scarf or um, cowl or really you can do a lot of stuff with the stitch. Have fun and happy knitting. Bye-bye.